Welcome to Crowded Lab. Today I have on review Alba 2. This is no code automation tool. So if you know what are makers up here like, so this is an alternative to those tools. So for example, you have your lead generation flow, you collect leads information through some form. With help of tools like Alba 2, you can get leads information, store those in Google Sheets, transfer to your CRM system, whatever you need. Maybe you have a social media management flow and you would like to automate posting to some social media sites like Facebook, for example. You can do a lot with tools like Alba 2. So yeah, like no matter the process, you can automate it without any line of code. So you don't have to be a programmer, you don't have to hire someone, you can automate almost everything. And Alba 2 provides a lot of integrations out of the box. They state that they can connect to more than 800 applications. And one of the advantages of Alba 2 is that it also connects to applications from AppSumo. For example, Akumba Mail, it is an email marketing platform which was presented on AppSumo platform. And not every integration tool provides integration with AppSumo featured software. And Alba 2 is available as a Black Friday event deal. It will be here for a few more days and it was released as so called Black Friday drop deal. There are a few others available, so you can check the link to this page in the description and you will find the link to Alba 2 as well. So yeah, let's take a look at the license tiers and later we'll see how it works, what you can automate with that. And uh, I will share my like, honest opinion, what I think about this tool. So regarding license tiers, I think the one to start is license tier two because it provides more flexibility. You will be able to use custom web hooks, custom HTTP requests, and with app integrator, you will be able to create your own integrations if the software of your choice provides API. So I will show you how it works. And starting from license tier three, you have additional feature, dedicated queue handlers. It will come in handy if you have a very high load for your incoming requests. So those can be queued and then at a slower paced processed. And before we dive deep to the demo, let me highlight you pros and cons of Alba 2. The link to this page you will also find in the description. So pros, pretty intuitive to use. Yeah, cost effective compared to Zapier, of course, because you can get this tool as a light and deal. Customer support. Yeah, I had one issue and uh, I've got immediate help from support team, from a real person, not a chatbot. You can create your custom integration. Yes, for sure. You can do that. We'll see how it works. Promising roadmap. That's also true. So let's see it. And you can see that it is pretty extensive. We have a lot of things in progress. We have quite a few votes, so this is a pretty active roadmap where community provides feedback. Yeah, so these pros and cons were compiled based on the user feedback. And let's move to the cons. Some technical knowledge required for complex flows. Yeah, that's kind of true, but it can be said about other similar tools as well. Like some of critical integrations, well, the tool is still growing. Maybe it is not providing yet such an extensive collection compared to Zapier or maybe Public Connect or Make, but I think it is steadily growing. I think the main disadvantage, yeah, for me, the technical knowledge might be required, but only for complex flows. And regarding FAQ section, what I wanted to highlight, yeah, API integration, you can do that with help of app integrator. Okay, so here it is, the Alba 2 dashboard, and I would like to start with the solutions. And I like this feature a lot. 
it has a lot of pre-built solutions for different workflows. For example, let's say you would need a solution for YouTube. We can check that and just take a look what kind of automations you can do with this. For example, when a new YouTube video is uploaded to a particular channel, we can store data to Google Sheets, we can backup our video to Google Drive. Automatic video backup. I think that's great. And there are other use cases. For example, you upload a video, you create a task in a particular task system like Google Tasks. So maybe other team members or you later can add subtitles in other languages. Maybe you would like to create blog posts automatically. Yeah, who knows? And how would you use those pre-built solutions? You just click install. If you didn't connect yet, it will ask you to connect to a particular services. In my case, I've already connected to YouTube and Google Drive. And yeah, you start configuring your scenario. You would need to choose a particular channel. Then from a video, you can have access to the attributes of that video, to title, description, and so on. And if you'd like to extend this, you can add additional steps right from here. So those pre-built solutions are not fixed. You can extend the functionality of those. You can add any custom step. So maybe you would like to send a Gmail after the flow is done. So let me go back to the solutions. We can see my installations. I've tested few and just as an example, this one, save YouTube videos data to Google Drive. So in this particular case, we can see the successful run. I've uploaded new video review to my channel and we've got comment on a file. Of course, you can add a row to a spreadsheet, but I just wanted to test the idea. So this is the example on this file. We've got this comment. And actually, yeah, I've uploaded one video yesterday and I've put the video title and video description as a comment. Again, I think it would be better to add such data as columns to a particular Google Sheet as a new row. And as well, there is the second comment for the video that I've just uploaded today about my updated Strico review. Okay, so let's move out of solutions from pre-built ones that you can select from my installations of pre-built solutions to automations. And here you can create any type of automation either from my template, which I believe is similar to solutions. Actually, yeah, those are exactly the solutions. Or you can just start from scratch. You need to select the entry point. In our case, it can be new video on the channel. So you would select the channel and then you would add additional steps. And we can have code. So if you know how to code or you have a particular complex task, you can add some code in JavaScript or Python. You can use pre-built tools. So maybe you'd like to format phone numbers before passing those to the next step. You have several valuable pre-built steps. And one of those is router. So you can, based on some conditions, for example, if a video was added to a particular playlist or the title contains particular words, for example, video title, contains food. You can do something and you would be able to have several branches in your flow. Or you can add just any other action like 
do something with AI. Maybe you would like to create an image or just general chat completion, just a regular ask to chat GPT, for example. So let me go back to one of my flows. Here is just an idea, what can you do? So you can add a step when a particular file is being uploaded to Google Drive. In this case, it should be MP3 file. Then using OpenAI will convert speech to text. After that, we'll pass the result, well, audio to text transcription to ChatGPT, and we can maybe translate our transcript from English to Spanish. So this is the example of the prompt. So we are giving the task to ChatGPT. We are passing the transcript, the result of the previous step. And for two videos, I'm giving software review slang example. So ChatGPT will know how to structure the translation to use the right words for target audience that the audience will understand. So basically, that's how you construct your flows. And for this particular flow, I've got some issues passing audio file to ChatGPT and I'm resolving that with support. The support team is pretty responsive. I think I will get the feedback from them tomorrow. And another interesting feature, so-called app integrator. Just an example. I'm using Cloud Convert website to get audio file for my review recordings. And this website provides API. So it has API documentation to convert files and perform other tasks. For example, first we will need to do authorization. And if the tool of your choice provides API, you can automate that using Albertu, using App Integrator. So let me see where it is. Not here. Apps, add connection. It is here. Not too obvious, but anyway, you have the detailed tutorial how to do that. You can watch the video, but basically you select the language, the name. And yeah, here you build your connection or application. And the great thing is that Albatu provides different building blocks. For example, for many tools, first you will need to authorize. So you will pick this building block, like my authorization. The API documentation of your tool will be stating what kind of authorization it provides. And yeah, using building blocks like authorization, you will be able to build connection to any tool or service that provides API. So you would be able then to send requests, receive response, perform actions. All right, so let's move to the conclusion. And first of all, the Alba 2 will not be here for long. Maybe it will return next year, maybe not, but you have a few days to grab this tool. And in general, I think it is a nice tool. It provides a lot of integrations. It is pretty versatile tool because you can build your custom integrations for the tools which connect with API. I had few hiccups with integration here and there, but support team is very responsive. And I was getting responses from real human, not a chatbot, which I think nowadays is a luxury. And when I have a problem, I would prefer to talk to a person rather than to a chatbot. Yeah, nice selection of the already pre-built connections, already pre-built templates. Like if you upload a video to YouTube, you can back up that video to a Google Drive as a video file. Yeah, so overall, solid tool. So to get Alba 2, please check the links in the description. Please leave a comment if you would like me to review other tools. Please also give this video a like and subscribe for more similar videos. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.